but let's focus on the biggest gainer today. That's uh, Hindalco because novelists, uh, you know, because of the comments that came in yesterday, the disclosure that came in, that they could be looking at an IPO of novelists. Uh, Ashish Kejriwal of Novama joins us on the show. Hi, Ashish. Good morning. The stock is up and about, but you see uh, this as, uh, you know, not such a big case for a re-rating event. Tell us more about that. Yeah, hi, good morning, Nigel. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Yes, uh, uh, our call is the same. Actually, see, uh, one has to keep in mind that why we buy Hindalco. Because more than 70% of our valuation or value of the company comes from novelists. And if novelist gets listed over there, definitely there is no point buying Hindalco as such. And that will lead to a high holding company discount. One has to keep in mind that you know around 26% of Hindalco shareholding is uh, FIs. And definitely they will want to you know, invest directly in novelist rather than in Hindalco. So uh, this, I don't think that it will lead to any re-rating. Uh, in fact, today it could be a pop-up because, you know, the stock has corrected by around 15% in last 15 days. But uh, after that, I think it's a good opportunity to, you know, book profit only. Oh, all right. Ashish, so a couple of points out there. You're saying that the FIs, they could rather go and list and invest in Novelis itself. And second of all, you don't see the big case of re-rating. If they're issuing fresh shares, then the money would directly go to novelists, which would help them with their capex plans, right? I mean, are, are we getting that correct? Yes. So, okay. in fact, in terms of valuation, also, if you look at, we already are valuing at six and a half times if we have beta at 526 basis, whereas yeah. their closest competitor, Constellium, they are trading at around 5.3 times. Though Constellium right. is, you know, 40% uh, of their size, but still, they already are commanding a premium. So, I don't think that there will be any further re rating on this stock, uh, account of this. Okay, and also the holding company discount will come in. So that is another factor that's making you a little bit cautious. You know, my colleague Nisha, she put out an exclusive story just a short while back. And she's saying they're looking at a valuation of around $15 billion. You know, that would be close to around seven and a half times. And, I'm, you know, that would be in all probability enterprise value. So the equity component will be around 10, 10 and a half billion dollars. What do you make yes. of this valuation? So uh, I think first it's on a higher side because uh, if I look at our valuation, we are factoring in market cap of something like $9.6 billion for novelists, which is at 6.5 times. And having that seven and a half times, it, it seems on a higher side only according to me. Though Novelis is a good company, it's difficult to replace that company, but you know one has to look at the valuation of their peer groups also. So I seriously doubt no, uh, they should command that kind of premium going forward. And we okay. will stick to our six and a half times EV with Jamal. Ashish, final question then, you know, the money is going to be raised at, uh, uh, it's, it'll come back to Hindalco. So it'll also be, uh, you know, it, it, there will be some tax on it. What is the taxation that they will have to pay on this money? So, see, right now it's not clear, first of all, that how much money they are going to raise because how much uh, dilution <laughs> they want to take. Second mm -hmm. thing is money will be at AV Minerals Netherland, which is a 100% subsidiary of Hindalco. Mm -hmm. So, whether they want to transfer that money to Hindalco, obviously, if they transfer it through dividend or capital redemption, there could be some taxation on that. So these things are still not clear, but my sense is uh, it's better for them to keep money over there and then they may look for some other acquisition or something else. Got it. But uh, putting money, directing money to Hindalco will not make a valid case because Hindalco, India itself mm -hmm. is a net cash company now and the yeah. cash flows which we are projecting, that will be sufficient for their future expansion Indeed. also. Got it, Ashish. We'll uh, leave it there. A good conversation. Appreciate you joining in. Just running into market open. Apologies. Uh, but I think uh, much needed perspective there.